What sounds do you make when you're about to create something? I like I like the sipping of coffee. Ah, then setting it down on the table. That little clunk clunk, swishy swish inside the cup. The scent of that caffeine in the air, and you're going, yeah, I am lit on fire. Let's have some fun today. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I pay attention to stuff. I, maybe it was my dad that planted that seed. He was always knocking me upside the head. Pay attention. Pay attention to what, Dad? Just pay attention. And so I started watching everything. I mean, I am a silent wolf in the brush, and I am watching life as it is happening. And then I don't hold on to it. It's time to activate it. It's time to move it forward, to bring it to other people, to find their fires, to see how they listen, guide their way through an ever-changing maze. This is The Daily Mess. A writing page was not designed to sit empty. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. A writing page can be drawn upon. It can be touched. It can be doodled on. It can be a collection of just goobly gob. But a writing page was not designed to sit empty. It's no different than your social media pages. It's got to be active. That's what attracts the hits and misses. I mean, we're constantly told that there's too much information out there in the real world. Can you imagine a world if nothing was posted for one 24-hour period? We've become so incredibly glued to this stuff that our eyes have developed an addiction to digital pictures and the first paragraph of a story. I don't need the rest of the story. I got everything all in that one paragraph. The headline attracted me. People that tell me that they can't write or keep a journal, that challenges me to search their social media pages. It's extremely human to have an open expression. Sharing it with the world is a decision. But what if you could place it in a journal for future use? Sounds kind of selfish, doesn't it? Yeah, for future use. A mind, mind, mind moment. Yeah, okay, I, I get it. But on these pages, hits and likes aren't required. Just to come here, to feel the emotions that are constantly growing inside of you. Some people don't want to deal with it. I understand that. But somewhere along the line, you're going to become frumpy and grumpy, curmudgeon-like. And you're going to wonder, where did I go wrong? Because you didn't let it out. What I, what I love is I, I wonder if the Dick Clarks of the world and the Ryan Seacrests on the planet are daily writers because they don't look like they ever age. Halle Berry doesn't age. Mm -mm, doesn't do it. I wonder if they're writers. And the reason why I bring that up is because all of that crap that you're holding on to inside your head and heart make your face shrink. You shrivel up. You look old because you're carrying too much weight. Is that a judgment call? No, no, I really believe that. I believe that when you release what is troubling you, and you struggle on the page, but at least you get it out of you, then something about you is going to look refreshing. You're going to sound like you're ambitious. You're going to be a presence when everything else around you is annoying. You just walk right through it because you've got the confidence and the courage to say, I'm just going to put you on a page. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.